Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today, we're going to go over the eight struggles only INTJs will understand. Make sure to watch each one of them and find out if you have any of them. If the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator assessed you as an INTJ, Architect Mastermind Personality Type, chances are you have some life struggles that are very common for you, but not so much for other personality types. INTJs are unique individuals, and with that rarity comes a lot of challenges. Being different makes the INTJ feel different from the rest of the world, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. The INTJ finds that the majority of difficulties they face are challenges they enjoy taking on, but there are some things that eventually become tiresome for them. You should undoubtedly be aware of your biggest struggles since their recognition will help you in overcoming them, allowing you to better design your life and achieve personal growth. Here are 8 struggles only INTJs will understand. Number 1. The Pressure to Succeed Perfection can be a good thing for INTJs, but it can also have negative effects. They want to make sure that everything is done to their exacting standards. This can place a lot of strain on the INTJ, because they want to make sure that whatever they accomplish is a success. With just about everything they try to do in life, the INTJ feels constant pressure. While this helps the INTJ meet high standards and achieve their goals, it may also be exhausting. Because they try to appear tough and unaffected, most people are unaware of the amount of internal pressure the INTJ is under. They believe in never displaying evidence of weakness. The INTJ is typically excellent at solving problems and getting the work done. This does not mean that it isn't exhausting for them after a while. Number 2. Being Spontaneous Going along for the ride or being spontaneous might be a difficult task for the INTJ. While the architect is capable of adapting to change, they dislike it when their plans are altered. They desire things done in a specific order and a more definite dedication to their timetable. When things are changed at the last minute, it puts a burden on the INTJ's ability to be prepared. Going with the flow is typically a dumb and tedious idea for the architect, and it's not something they want to cope with. It is much more reassuring to know that they have everything planned out and that they are doing everything perfectly. This is due to their perfectionist tendency, since INTJs are constantly preoccupied with ensuring that they are doing everything right in life. They don't accept difficulties or duties unless they know they can prepare ahead of time and not go into the scenario blindly. Number 3. Being Diplomatic A professional employment requires diplomatic and polite behavior, and people are frequently expected to sugarcoat the truth in order to avoid hurting others' feelings. INTJs aren't born with these kinds of social skills. While they can and do learn them, clearly, being in polite mode all of the time is exhausting for INTJs. Architects don't have time and energy for coworkers who are more interested in cutthroating games and politics than getting the job done. INTJs usually deal with office drama by refocusing attention on the task at hand and emphasizing the importance of results. That can sometimes gain them a lot of respect, however, it can also alienate them and make them stand out as loners. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. Efficiency Obsession It's no secret that INTJs are efficiency freaks who will always look for the most efficient way to complete a task. In their work environments, they can define process standards for the entire company, which is fantastic. So it's no wonder when they are at the bottom of the career ladder and have to follow systems that they know could be improved with a little reorganization. What irritates an INTJ is being informed that fixing the inefficiencies that are driving them crazy is not their problem. When something isn't working, INTJs think it's their fault. Number 5. Overthinking INTJs have hyperactive minds, which cause them to continually analyze and ponder about everything. Even when they are certain of something, they tend to investigate it deeper. INTJs, on the other hand, are capable of making crucial decisions and finding ways to act without allowing analyzing to get in the way. The INTJ has more difficulty with this overanalyzing process when it comes to people and emotions. 
When they are feeling something, they may try to come up with more rational ways to deal with it, which is not always the best way. Because they strive for logic in almost everything they do, INTJs will overanalyze emotions and inner sensations, even when they shouldn't. Also, when they should be more concentrated on emotions and making relationships with the people around them, their thoughts are continuously seeking to find logical and practical solutions. This isn't natural for the INTJ. Therefore, they focus on practical analysis rather than emotional responses. This is one of the biggest struggles INTJs will understand. Number 6. Demanding too much INTJs are very unique individuals, and they like to design their environments according to their vision. They prefer things done correctly, which is typically their way. INTJs believe that the best way is usually the one they prefer. Architects are known for being efficient yet maintaining high standards. The problem arises when they place unreasonable demands on their relationship and on people they are close with. Being bossy and demanding isn't a desirable trait, and because of that demanding nature, INTJs can struggle with forming and developing important relationships. Number 7. Empathy Problems When it comes to fixing problems, this isn't always a negative thing. INTJs are exceptional problem solvers. However, they propose answers without truly understanding how their partner feels. Instead of listening to their issues and allowing them to express themselves, INTJs tend to simply provide solutions. While they may think this is ideal and they're simply trying to help, sometimes all their significant other needs is a listening ear or a shoulder to weep on. When they're upset, instead of merely offering solutions, INTJs should focus on learning more about how they're feeling and what they can do to help. People really enjoy it. Number 8. Alienation When faced with too much social interaction, INTJs want to be alone. While the architect's desire to be on their own is something they should pay attention to, it can also cause complications. The INTJ is frequently alone, and this can be a dangerous place to be. Architects will distance themselves a little too much because they don't feel like they need other people. They can go days or even weeks without engaging with others, yet this causes them to feel disconnected from the people they care about. INTJs may act as though they don't require human interaction, yet they might become so absorbed in their own thoughts that they disregard other crucial personal requirements. In in fact, INTJs, like everyone else, require interaction and need to feel a sense of belonging to others. While they may not appreciate crowds or being among people who exhaust them, they do require a close companion with whom they can share their experiences, thoughts, and ideas. They require at least one person with whom they can form a bond, someone who will listen to their concerns and offer support even when they are exhausted. This form of attachment is crucial for the INTJ, but their need to be alone might force them to withdraw for lengthy periods of time. This might make the INTJ feel isolated from others, and it can put strain on important connections. This is one of the biggest struggles only INTJs will understand. These videos will be really helpful for you.